Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another operator which comes under utility category that is observe one. So observe one is nothing but what I can say is it is same behaves same as subscribe one operator only, <clears throat> but there will be a slightly difference between you know, subscribe one and then observe one operator. Let's try to see this one. Here also, if you try to see the differences and all those things here, if you try to see the description. You will get you will get little bit of confused that how the subscribe on and uh, observe on will work. So I will show you the practical implementation. What is the main difference between those two operators? Now here, if you try to see here, the definition of this one re-emits all notification from source observable with specified scheduler. Okay, so here also same as subscribe on, it will take scheduler that is async or SAP or something whatever the scheduler you want to mention, you can mention the scheduler. Or otherwise you can uh, and also an optional parameter delay so that means at, at what delay it need to emit the data now <coughs> every notification should be rescheduled now what i will try to there is no what i can say is uh, marble diagram or anything what we'll try to do is we'll try directly we'll try to see the practical implementation of this observe one i will show you the main difference between these two now here if you try to see let me create this observe one operator ng gc pages slash observe on operator okay so this is the operator i am creating let's open operators dot component dot html and in this one i will add observe on and here i can use observe on sorry observe on like this sorry like this and let's open app routing also for adding the routing yeah here in this app routing so still it didn't create this component so let it create until then what we will try to do is we will try to add this one observe one and here we need to wait for this one to create i think my system is slow yeah so it has created but still observe on operator so let's try to see yeah observe on operator yeah now we have added this one let's go to the component implementation observe on and if I open observe, sorry, observe on, on, right, on operator, yeah. Now here, as usual, let's take the source, OF of, <coughs> it will be taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now what I will try to do is, I will subscribe to this one, dot subscribe, okay, here it is having a data. And I will do the console.log of data. Okay. Now, if you try to see what could be the output for this one, so automatically if I go to this observe one, oh sorry, if I go to this observe one, yeah, we will be able to display 1, 2, 3, 45. Okay, fine, it's fine. Now, what I want to do here, I will add console.log start scripting. Okay, we need to know whether it is asynchronous or asynchronous. So, now if I try to do end scripting. Now what could be the output as it is a synchronous start script start scripting so it has console start scripting and it has executed the observable and end scripting so that means line by line it is executing so fine now if I want to convert this one to an asynchronous means I can use something like pipe of subscribe on right subscribe on of I need to mention the scheduler so I can use async scheduler now let's try to see the output if i try to see the output what could be the output here let it refresh and the output is start scripting and end scripting is executed then afterwards the observable is executing so that means observable has kept in the micro task fine now what does this observe one will do observe one does the same thing so if i do observe on here sorry if i do this observe on okay and if i try to execute you will be able to get the same output okay so there is no difference in the output so where it will try to show you the difference is for example subscribe on i will be using the subscribe on okay before subscribe on i have a map operator let's assume i have a map operator and what i will try to do is i will get the data and i will do what i will try to do is console.log data i will try to print console.log or otherwise map executing I will use map executing and let's import this map operator. So it is showing some error. Yeah. So we have imported this console.log map executing. I need to return some data. So I am returning the 
data right and uh, here i will be using comma here i need to use the comma okay i have applied the two things now here what it is happening so source is coming the each value is going to the map operator and it is consoling the and it is consoling and it, it is literally returning the data or otherwise what i can do is i can do into 10 okay now let's try to see the output so what could be the output here so here if you try to see <coughs> here if you try to see i have used this subscribe on right i have used the subscribe on right now what it is happening here start scripting and end scripting has executed immediately so after that in the micro task it is executing the map operator and everything and the data it is returning is into 10 okay value into 10 so fine so that means everything including the map operator and everything it went into the asynchronous now let's see that i converted this one into an observe one okay now i converted this one observe one now if you try to see the output what could be the output let's try to see so let it refresh now if you try to see start executing okay it started executing and map has executed in between the start and end so map executed the four times and afterwards the output has been visible so what is happening here so subscribe on means so the entire subscription the entire observable subscription will be kept in the async scheduler and here observe on async when you use this observe on in the place where you have used this observe one from there onwards it will be converted into an asynchronous execution so now here the map is in a synchronous only now if you keep this observe one at the top okay at the top so the place a matters so if you keep this observe one at, at the top now whatever the operators you are applying after this observe one this all comes under asynchronous and the before this observe one so whatever the operators you are applying those all comes under synchronous so that means something it keeps in a buffer something like that to display to display the data after execution now if you try to see the output let's see now here see entire thing has been converted into the asynchronous so including the map so the previously how we have executed the subscribe one the same output we are able to get but whereas the subscribe one wherever you use this subscribe one okay wherever you use this subscribe one now if you try to see if you use it at the front or if you use it at the, at the end also nothing happens so it will execute the same thing only so start entire observable execution will be converted into an asynchronous but whereas you use this observe one the place where you have used this observe one from there onwards it will be converted into the asynchronous so this is the major difference between the subscribe one and observe one so if you uh, so the here the observe one the placement is matters so here if you place it at the top so the afterwards whatever the operators is executing it is converted into an asynchronous and if you place it at the last means so all the operators will be executed synchronously and when this subscribe so this subscribe will be executed as the asynchronous based on the scheduler so this is the main difference between the observe one and observe one and subscribe one hope you understood about this observe one operator so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you